In this video, we're going to continue looking at left-to-right addition with two-digit numbers. So let's start with some examples where we don't need to carry in any way whatsoever. So let's try 22 plus 15. Well, when we do left-to-right addition, first we think of combining the 20 and the 10. Or in this case, we're going to leave the first number as 22, and then split up 15 into 10 and 5. We're going to associate these two first, and that means we're going to use the associative property, and think of that as 32. And then we're going to add the other 5 to get 37. So all we're doing is breaking up 15 in two pieces, adding 10 first, and then 5 more. And I think that's just easier to visualize. In the next example, let's try 63 plus 42. So how are we going to think about this? Let's think of 63 plus 40 and then add two more. And doing this allows us to picture around right away that the answer should be around 100. And that estimation is really important. But also allows us to picture the answer because 63 and 40, well that's 103. Add two more to get our answer of 105. This is an alternate approach to addition, one that, that we might be able to visualize a lot nicer. Next, let's look at one more example. Let's try 98 plus 31. What's this going to be? Well, now let's think of 98 plus 30, right? We're splitting 31 apart and then add the other one from 31. So now we get, well, let's, what is 98 plus 30? Well, that's 128. And then we want to add one more to get 129. So in each of these, we took 31 and split up into three tens and one one. We split 42 into four tens and two ones, and 15 into 10, one ten and five ones. Now in this case, the last one, if 98 and 30 is difficult, we can split this up even more, right, if we're visualizing this, we can split the 98 as well. 98 could be thought of as 90 plus 8, and then we can think of 31 as 30 and 1. And we can switch this order around and pair however we want. We can think of this as 90 plus 30. We can add that first, and then add 8 more, and then add 1. The point is, when we're adding, we can group and reorder however we want. And left to right addition can be especially useful, again, because we're, when we start at the left, we're always starting at the highest place value. So even before we get the exact answer, we always get a sense of about what our final sum will be. All right. Thank